good afternoon. Samsung's Note 9 S Pen rumors are getting exciting. The FCC has recently verified the S Pen as a device that has Bluetooth capability, which would enable it to control music, they're supposing, take or act as a remote camera shutter, which would be eh, okay, I guess, but I don't really see an application where I'm needing to pull the pen out while the phone is in a tripod and then have it take a picture remotely. It, it, that part doesn't seem that practical to me. However, I've heard a couple of leaks and seen a couple of things about them talking about the S Pen having a new button or an additional button. And they're basing all that off of this picture. And honestly, I think that's not correct. I think it's very, very incorrect, actually. The button that you see in the picture is clearly the one that's always been on the side of the S Pen, and I can't see them finding it practical. I hope they don't find it practical to add an additional button because you already have that one and there's really not another place to put another button. However, enabling it to play or pause media like YouTube or Pandora or Spotify or Samsung Music even would be pretty cool except say I'm driving down the road and I need to pause the music, do I the pin top and then pull it out and then press the button? No. I Maybe if the phone is sitting on a desk and your pin is just right there and you just press the button, but I, I don't know. I'm, uh, yeah. mm. Furthermore, how are they going to keep it charged? Since the S Pen right now keeps charged based off of, it has little tiny capacitors in it, and then the electromagnetic field of the screen keeps that with just enough power it needs to interact with the Wacom hardware inside the phone and yada yada. The articles that I've read talking about this suppose maybe wireless trickle charging from inside the phone and it would actually explain them giving it such a bigger battery than usual. We're talking about the 4,000 or supposed 4,000 milliamp hour battery that they're supposed to be putting into the Note 9. And I just now thought of that actually. So if both of those are true, then it makes total sense for them to have upped the capacity of the battery because it would give it the extra oomph that it needs to charge that S Pen with what's got to be a teeny, teeny, tiny little battery while still having the same or hopefully better battery life than the Note 8 did. I can see them maybe using the Bluetooth enabled button to hit next on a PowerPoint presentation, maybe in a business application, but that's not really fitting for the average consumer. I don't know a whole lot of people who are doing PowerPoint presentations not on their laptop. Now Samsung may have something else up their sleeve where they just blow everybody away and surprise the crap out of all of us, in which case I would be delighted. But we at least know that, yes, they are going to put Bluetooth in the S Pen. And my prediction is that they're gonna use the phone to wirelessly charge it, hence such a drastically increased battery capacity. It is hot as out here. So stay cool, stay connected, and Keep riding and stay beaming.